Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk about state in the application and where and how to manage it. When we think of the structure of our app, we think about the widget tree. You have an app, it might have multiple routes or just one single homepage screen. Each screen is typically based on a scaffold and that has an app bar, a body, maybe a bottom navigation bar. The body can have a lot of widgets. So it's a huge tree or actually multiple trees. So most of these widgets are stateless. Many uh, are also stateful. So for example, a checkbox can know whether it is checked or not. But when you think of the bigger picture of the state in the application, you might want to reuse the same information at different parts of the application. That can be within one screen, think of having a filter somewhere that filters the items in a list that you show somewhere else or different screens showing the same information. You have a list of items and you show the same items on a map in a different screen or in a different form. So where should we store information that is shared across the widget tree? The widget tree is built up top down and we can trickle down references to data and we can implement references from one part of the tree to another. However, that becomes very messy and hard to manage at some point. So a better way to store the state of the application is actually outside of the widget tree and make it accessible for all parts of the widget tree. The way to model that is the provider. Provider is a separate package that you need to add to your Flutter application. The provider is best placed outside of your widget tree and you use it as a wrapper for your material app. Widgets from anywhere in the tree can access that provider and retrieve references to data and manipulate the data or retrieve data. So in this case, for example, the list view can retrieve data to display it and the floating button can retrieve the provider to manipulate data. You model your data as separate classes and attach them directly to the provider. The provider package gives you different types of providers. The most basic one is the provider itself and it's really just to make data accessible across different parts of the, uh, of the tree. However, if you use the provider itself, there won't be a communication flow upon change uh, of data. So for example, if the floating button, floating action button uh, deletes an item of the uh, tree, it will not inform the list view that the underlying data has changed. There is a different provider for that. The change notifier provider provides additional functionality to notify listeners to changes in the data model. That way, if you, for example, press a button and modify the state of the application in the data model, every widget that requires this state will be informed and can redraw itself. Let's have a look at an example in the code. To implement the provider package, I go to my main.dart and add the import of the provider package. Then I go to my build function and instead of just building the material app, I build a provider that wraps the material app which is contained as a child. In the create, I create the model that I want to add to my provider. This model is available anywhere in the widget tree. The provider has a type of my model and this model class I need to declare. The provider comes in different variations. Provider itself is the most basic provider and there are others that can do additional uh, things like notifying a change, for example. My model class can be pretty much anything. It's um, just a model, a, a wrapper class for some data. In this case, it's just one list item. I also have a couple of functions that help me to manipulate the data. Looking at my application, I have a list of items. In this case, a list of a couple of hotels. And these lists are in that location list on the provider level. In my new button, I want to create an additional item to that list. Also, this is just one page in my routes, in my navigation. And when I want to move to another one and go back, I get this same list again. And I might want to use the same data in another uh, route, in another screen. So that's reason number one why I want to extract the data to make it available across multiple screens. 
but also across multiple widgets on one screen. I have the app bar on top, I have the bottom navigation bar at the bottom, and I have the body, which now is not just a location list, but it wraps it in a consumer class. So the consumer gets this location list model from the provider and hands it over as a value in this case uh, to the location list, which can use that data to build the location list. Now I also have a floating action button, which needs to create an additional item in that list. And here I have a provider of that location list model. I'm not listening, I'm just adding. And here I add an additional item by pressing that button. So let's click the button and see what happens. When I click the button, the new entry is generated with a random ID and some dummy data. As you see, nothing is added to the list on the screen. That's because no notification is sent. The screen is not newly rendered. However, the data is added in the background in the provider model. Now, when I go to a different uh, route and go back, the screen is recreated. And I see the new items created by me by clicking the button. Now, of course, I want the screen to be updated immediately. For that, I need to change the provider to a change notification provider that will update all listeners upon a change on the model. So now I change the provider to a change notifier provider. The model to be used needs to uh, inherit or, or reuse the change notifier. So with a change not uh, with change notifier, I can use it in the change notifier provider. So with a restart after these changes, again nothing happens because I need to manually uh, trigger the not notification. So I go back to my model. And here, upon adding a location, I need to notify the listeners. Similar for removing or changing the whole tree. So now when I add a new entry, it will be changed immediately on screen. And the same function applies to the removal. So that's a basic function of the provider. You wrap the application into a provider as required. You create the model class with a change notifier if needed. And in your widget tree, you can access the provider model with provider off without listening if it's just an, an action you need to perform. As a consumer, if you need to get the data and also in the build function using the consumer and handing the data over to the constructor of your items. You can also use a multi-provider to implement several different provider instances. So for example, for different entities of the state you manage. The provider package gives you a range of different providers, but the most important ones for you to use are probably multi-provider and change notifier provider.